The book, yeah. The book, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm the author of the book uh, that Hunters is based on. I've written, I've been an author for a long time, and I've written um, many books. Uh, the Hunger and the Wolf and Communion and Superstorm are all made, movies made from my books. And uh, now, Alien, now Hunters is made from my series Alien Hunter. And uh, it's, uh, I just saw one of the episodes, Night Before Last, that's just been finished. And I'm really very pleased. They have captured the sort of the deepest conflict in the in the books, which revolve around what is reality, who are we, and it's the fact that we can't really answer you those questions too clearly, dangerous so not. And it, it, they play off of those themes, and it, it works very well. I was excited and creeped out, frankly. <laughs> Were you worried at all going into this that uh, the vision that you created wasn't going to mesh with what the writers for the show? Uh, well, you know, I didn't know at first. Gail, Gail and heard uh, 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 introduced me to Natalie Chidez, and uh, it really got a good feeling. I mean, she seemed to know. She'd read the books carefully, and she knew what she was doing. And, script and I read it and I, I, it departed from my story, which it had to, because they have to if they're going to make it. You can't, you know, you have to make a series as its own thing, even more so than a movie. And when um, Tony Scott made the movie of The Hunger, it's a pretty exact replica of the book, you know, just, and then uh, uh, The Day After Tomorrow is a pretty close to the book Superstorm I wrote that it's based on. But this is a, it's a step away, but it works. And it worked because she understood the theme so well. And it, it, so it, it's, it's definitely reconstructed in such a way that there's a lot of series potential and a lot of story potential. In it. It's not just one story now. It, you, can, you can build a whole world of stories in what she did. And I thought it was brilliant. How close is your involvement now to the rest of the series? Uh, as close as they want. You know, I get emails every once in a while, and uh, uh, they want me to read things and comment and, and see the, 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 the sort of semi-finished episodes and comment, and I'm doing that. And, you know, it's, it's a nice feeling. I mean, I, I, feel, I feel involved, as involved as an author can be. I mean, I've had things where, you know, I just sort of pushed the movie, the book into a slot and waited. For the hunger, which turned out to be really close to my novel, uh, I wasn't even invited to the press screening or the premiere or anything of the hunger. Of the hunger, I was just left alone in the theater in, uh, down downtown, alone to watch the movie myself with my wife, and nobody came to say, "Do you like it or not?" or anything. When it was over, the light sort of went up, and we left. And I thought it was a darn good movie, too. I, I guess he was afraid I wouldn't like it or something. But, what are your memories of Tony? Uh, Thank you so much. Sad. Uh, he was a wonderful guy, and he was... Uh, I would never have believed what happened. <laughs> and, uh, but I hadn't known him in years. I mean, obviously, his life changed, and... Uh, uh, it was his first feature, yeah. and it was... Uh, you know, he'd come from TV and from uh, from music videos. I thought he was very brilliant and very talented, and Catherine Deneuve really loved him. She thought he was terrific. And um, so it worked, you know, but uh, it just so, I just wonder, I often wonder what happens to people in their lives and what the mysteries are within us. And, you know, then suddenly we find a person makes a decision like that, and we know only that there was a mystery. So the book series is ongoing, correct? Yeah, it's the next uh, issue, the next volume in the book series is called Alien Hunters, The White House. And it's going to come out in April uh, of 2016. And I, I know a lot of people in politics, and I actually based 
I've presented it on a guy I know. He's not president of the United States, but I sent him a manuscript, and he said, my God, how did you find all this stuff about us out? And I said, oh, you, you know, your friends gossip a lot. And I'll never say who he is. He's getting shot. <laughs> it, it should be a good, it should be a lot of fun. It's an exciting book. And I love my, the character Flynn Carroll has worked for me. I really, you know, I really feel a, a kinship with him. It's important if you're going to write fiction that your characters be within you, but also not under your control. Because if they're under your control, they're never really alive. And he definitely is not under my control, that's for sure. Do you have any concerns that your book series is ongoing, that the television series may catch up to it at all? The material catch that you have? Or uh, do you could, think... They'll, they'll, they'll inevitably be cross-pollinization. I hope it's good. I mean, you know, frankly, it could help the TV series could help the book series a lot. They have me writing a short story for the tie-in edition of the first volume which of, of the Alien Hunter series, which is going to come out with the, whenever the uh, series is, is goes on sci-fi. So I'm sort of doing that right now. It's, it's interesting. It, it goes way back to the beginning of Flynn's career as a per you know he's a teenager in this and it shows how he he became entangled in this before he even knew anything about what might happen in the future. Is there anything in particular you're worried about how it's going to be adapted, whether it's you know because of special effects budget or just in general? Ah listen, what I've seen looks fabulous. I, I haven't seen anything. It doesn't I don't think that I, they must have. A, I don't know anything about the budgets. You know, it's a, a something I, you'd have to ask Gail about that. But uh, to my eye, the effects look really top drawer. I mean, I, what I'm seeing is a very high quality production, and that's not always the case. I mean, you know, you can have series with really, really low rent production values. Movies too. For that matter. I mean, look at Communion. I don't know if you ever, you ever saw that. It was horrible. The disaster. But uh, you know, you get what you you get what you get. Once you're in the right, and I was supposedly the author of the screenplay of *Communion*. But as far as I can tell, they took my screenplay, page through it, <laughs> tossed it over their shoulders, and made another movie. I was wondering, particularly about *Communion*, is that the singular event that changed your life? You remember before and then after? It's like a sort of central event in my life. And the thing that's strange, it was so annoying about it all, was. I wrote a book about my perceptions. I didn't write a book about experiences. There's a huge difference between those things, but I, I was warned by a friend who read it before it was published, and he said, you know, people are gonna take this as claims of alien contact. And I said, but it's obvious that that's not what it is. It says in the front of the book, the human mind winks back from the dark. Hey, what does that mean? It means that I don't know what happened this way, it means. And I spent years trying to kind of get work through that in the media. And finally just retreated. I quit. I haven't been out in public in years because of that. Because I just don't know what happened. Didn't the publisher more or less cap on that oh, misperception? Oh, God. To they sure <laughs> did. They, they ran with it. I never expected that to happen. They were so, yes, we understand perfectly. Um, we're, it's going to be treated with absolute respect. Aliens walked one up in. I mean, you know, that's what it was horrifying. What a, what a strange experience. The whole thing, in many ways, the strangest part of it was what happened after the book was published, not what happened to me that caused me to write the book, which I don't know the answer to. What was your relationship with Christopher Walken uh, encouraging one? Or was it so no, not comments. really. I mean, I, we, we went out drinking a couple times, as I recall, and we might have had a dinner. Uh, he thought I was a jerk. As I, that was my impression of him. And, you know, he was a brilliant actor, but he was also some kind of a jerk, I thought. We didn't really hit it off. We haven't talked since the movie. Is there anything in, in life that has caused you to revisit that time? Well, the thing was that it, it didn't actually end. It went on for years, and I've written a, few, a couple of books trying to cope with it, and I have a nonfiction book coming out in uh, February called Supernatural, which is a completely 
re-envisioning of the whole thing, written with a uh, historian of religion called Jeff Kripal, uh, who is a, a professor of religion at Rice University. That's being brought out by Torture Penguin, and I'm hoping it'll sort of re-dimensionalize the whole thing, because we don't have any idea if there are aliens here but any at all, and yet the public just assumes it's true. But if, what if it's something else? Then we're, you know... I'm sorry, when you say what if it's something else? Do you mean exactly? I don't know. I wish I could tell you. <laughs> but if, if it's something else that we don't understand or haven't even articulated yet. Because uh, what happened to me was an incredible ongoing experience that lasted about 10 years, during which time we got hundreds of thousands of letters from people who had had similarly weird but fundamentally sort of sometimes quite different things happen. And, you know, my wife read all these letters. She was indefatigable, and, 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 and she finally said, you know, Whitley, this has got something to do with the dead. Because people would see these aliens, and they'd see the ghosts and other things along with them. It was just all a very weird, supernatural thing that made me decide we actually don't know what this is yet. We think we do. We think we know a lot more. Neuroscientists think they know a lot more about the, what the mind is and the way it works than, than, than we actually do. I'm not so sure that it's all inside. I think things can come out of our mind into the world around us every once in a while, frankly. I mean, that would explain the fact that paranormal phenomena have been with us for thousands of years. And we've never, we never take a step back and say, what is this? We always say, oh, someone says, I saw a ghost. And then the next guy says, well, that's impossible. And then someone says, oh, I believe you. But there's another level. We could step back from it and say, what actually happened to this person's mind and brain? Is that the basis of the book, Supernatural? Yeah. Absolutely, that's where we're going with it. Is, it. is it more or less charted into different phenomena, and then, or is it... No, it takes, it takes the whole... The survey course, as it were? It, it, it takes the whole phenomenon as a single thing, that all of these <laughs> enigmatic, unknown experiences are somehow related. They're all being generated in some way that we don't understand. Maybe by the mind, and maybe by some something outside of us that we've never really been able to pin down. But with the history of religion and and and, and with the, our capabilities in science now, we probably can take a much broader look at the paranormal. The book's subtitle is "A New Vision of the Unexplained." So, does Alien Hunters? Are you are you in this respect lending the series? Credibility, or are you doing this as a lark? No, I like, no, it's not a lark at all. I, I am a, basically a fiction writer. If I'm not writing fiction, I'm not really very happy. <laughs> and uh, I have gotten very interested in this character, in Flynn Carroll, because he embodies the kind of ambiguities I've been talking about with regard to Supernatural. I mean, he's a character that's living in the world of Supernatural, as it were. And I definitely want to keep writing about him. I want to explore him a lot more than I have. One more question? Anybody? All right.